Ladies and gentlemen, we are still continuing with the consumer behavior. And today I am going to show you, I start by showing you the change in taste when the consumer changes the taste. Because if I draw this like that, and remember this is the quantity of apples and this is the quantity of bananas, and this is your budget line. So if this is your original indifference curve, and then you can see that this is what the guy is buying, is buying B1 and, and, and A1. And now here, if the income of the consumer is constant and the consumer is now changing the taste, this indifference curve will just shift on the income line which is budget line income line is budget line right so now you can see that the initial equilibrium was e1 and then now it will move to e2 so now at point e2 now you can see on this new indifference curve two now you can see that on here now the guy is consuming less bananas but he is actually consuming more apples and this is what we we are seeing here happening so therefore it means what this is exactly what the consumer is doing when he is changing taste and preferences right now back to the subject of the day remember we are going to be doing the price consumption curve and what i'm going to do now is i'm just going to say in all cases and 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 and, and, and i really going to say in all cases the price of b will be going down in all my cases so let me see so what we are going to do is and i'm just going to throw them nicely here because anyway you have time to repeat and then see what i'm doing so the first one i draw it like this the second one, I draw it like this. And then the last one, I draw it like that. Right. So look at these um, Cartesian planes very carefully. And the first one here is the quantity of B, quantity, no, sorry, quantity of A, quantity of B, quantity of A, quantity of B, quantity of A, quantity of B. Right. That's what is happening. Now, what I want you to look at here is that we first draw the initial equilibrium and, 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 and this is the equilibrium I1. And look at this. This is the first initial equilibrium. Now, A1 is what the guy is buying and B1. And then I'm going to draw exactly the same thing here. And then I have A1 and B1. And then I'm going to draw exactly the same thing here. A1 and B1. Right. Now remember what I said. The condition is what? The price of B goes down. So if the price of B goes down, this is exactly what happens. What happens is... The price of B goes down to whatever, one rand, if it was two rand and so on, like we did in the previous lecture. So we know that now there will be a rotation outward. And then even here, we see there will be a rotation outward. Even here, there will be a rotation outward. So, what you are going to see now here is that you are going to see the only difference is how do we place the new indifference curve on the new budget line that we just drew, uh, drew now. Now, what we are going to do is 
we are now going to start with the first one and when you look at the first one is i2 so look at this if i join these two equilibriums with this line that goes like that it's positive slope but what, what do we see we can see that this one b increased to b2 but a also increased to to a2 therefore a and b are complementary products how do we write complementary complementary product and with the second one now i'm just going to be very careful to draw it here so that you can see that a did not change but b increased to b2 so therefore it means these two goods are not related and in economic studies they are independent independent they are not related at all but and but now the last one here i'm just going to make it very carefully so that now where it touches now this price elasticity curve is negatively sloped pc pc and then here it was the pc was straight this is pc and this is was pc so now if you like to now look what happened what happened is the price of b went down and then now we buy more of b to b2 and then we buying less of a a2 and then now it tells you that now a decreased because we increased what b therefore these goods are substitutes now in terms of elasticities here we, we can see that for complementary products we say the elasticity of demand here will be what it will be less than one but the elasticity of demand here for independent product now is is, is is we say is equals to one and then the elasticity of the price elasticity of demand here we say is equals to is is greater than one so the first one the that's what have here we were supposed to say is less than sorry so now you know that it's less than it's less than one so now that's in terms of 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 price elasticities right because you can see that this first initial increase here it cannot be equal to 100 percent because the other increases this side but here now you see the increase now is more because it actually increased and then it, this one there's no increase this side so there's more but here the increase is only here there's nothing is nothing is affecting this side therefore it's just unity so but you know if you repeat it again you'll be fine and then if you don't understand you can just you can always email me right now why do we do this price consumption curves surely we want to know whether these products are complements substitutes or independent so now what i'm going to do is I am now going to deal with the income consumption line. And with the income consumption line, we say, remember, this is the first one. And then this is the second one. And then this is the third one. Now, because here we are dealing with income, just to eliminate the confusion, I'm just going to be working with income on the vertical axis. And then on the horizontal axis, I'm going to put the quantity of good A, quantity of good A, quantity of good a so now i only have one product now i'm going to have the 
equilibrium here exactly the same thing that's what i'm doing and then the initial one this is equilibrium one and then this is the same thing you know it's the same thing as this one and then this is the same thing as that one so therefore this is a difference curve one in difference curve one in difference curve one right that's the first thing and then <laughs> what we are doing now is we are going to increase the income so if we increase the income we know that the budget line is going to shift to the right and then the first one i shifted this way parallel because remember the slope does not change the second one i shift this way the third one i shifted this way so we just shift it to the right and then with the first one now we say the income increased and then if you look at this and you join the two points the two equilibrium points you've got the income consumption so if it's positive this way now we say this first one here the income increased and then the quantity of the product a increased as well can you see that right so if this is the case then we say this is a normal product so if this is a normal product then it's fine because we know that if it's a normal product it can either be a luxury or an essential right so look at the second one and this second one here is what is a1 that's what the guy is producing <laughs> and then after income increasing look where i place it i place it here very carefully so that the income that the quantity will decrease and then now this is the new equilibrium now the quantity has increased so if the quantity has decreased here after income increased therefore this will be the case for in fair right so this second case remember this is one and then this is two i'm just going to repeat this one here so that you get the case for inferior product the inferior product remember what i said i said if this is what we were producing initially after the income increased we know the budget line will shift this way and then now we place this one here so that after income increased quantity of this one decreased so therefore now when i draw the, 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 the indifference curve i draw it like this this i2 and then you can see that now income increases but this one decreases that is fine so ladies and gentlemen i want you to go and play these videos over and over and over again thank you very much so i expect you to excel in these things because they're very simple <laughs>